You are not nothing. You are everything. Every cell in your body, every thought in your mind, every beat of your heart, it's all a miracle. But somewhere along the way, you forgot that. You let others define you, label you, put you in a box. It's time to break free. Think about it. How many times have you dimmed your light because someone told you to? How often have you stayed silent when you had something important to say? When was the last time you truly stood up for yourself? It stops now. Today, in this moment, you're making a choice, a choice to reclaim your power, to remember your worth, to stop letting others treat you like you're nothing. When we allow others to treat us poorly, we're not just hurting ourselves. We're reinforcing a belief system that says it's okay to disrespect, belittle, and ignore. We're telling the universe, this is what I deserve. But that's a lie. You deserve respect. You deserve kindness. You deserve to be seen, heard, and valued. Not because of what you do or what you have, but simply because you exist. You are a unique expression of life itself, and that alone makes you invaluable. But here's the thing. No one is going to hand you respect on a silver platter. You have to claim it. You have to embody it. You have to become so grounded in your own worth that no one can shake you. It starts with your thoughts. Every time you think, I'm not good enough, or I don't matter, you're programming your brain, creating neural pathways that reinforce these false beliefs. But guess what? You have the power to change that. Start catching those negative thoughts when they pop up. Pause, take a deep breath, and then consciously choose a different thought. I am worthy. I am valuable. I matter. Say it out loud if you have to. Shout it. Repeat it until you believe it. Your brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined. So when you consistently feed it positive, empowering thoughts, it starts to create new neural pathways. You're literally rewiring your brain to support your worth. But it's not just about thoughts, it's about action. How you treat yourself sets the standard for how others treat you. Are you taking care of your body? Are you honoring your needs? Are you speaking to yourself with kindness? Start treating yourself like you're precious because you are. Nourish your body with good food. Move in ways that feel good. Rest when you need to. Speak to yourself with the same compassion you'd offer a dear friend. And when it comes to others, set clear boundaries. You teach people how to treat you. If someone consistently disrespects you, it's okay to distance yourself. If someone crosses a line, it's okay to speak up. You don't have to be rude or aggressive. You can be firm and kind at the same time. Remember, you're not responsible for other people's behavior. You're only responsible for your own. So focus on being the best version of yourself. Live with integrity. Treat others with respect and expect the same in return. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, but what if I stand up for myself and people don't like it? Well, let me ask you this. Do you want to be liked or do you want to be respected? Do you want to live a life that's true to you or one that's designed to please others? The truth is, when you start valuing yourself, you might lose some people. But these are the people who are comfortable with the old you, the you that didn't speak up, that didn't set boundaries, that accepted less than you deserved. As you grow, your circle might shrink, but it will be filled with people who truly see and appreciate you. Here's something powerful to consider. As you start treating yourself with more respect, you'll naturally attract others who do the same. It's like you're sending out a signal to the universe saying, this is how I deserve to be treated. And the universe responds. But this isn't just about you. When you stand in your power, when you refuse to be treated as less than, you're setting an example. You're showing others what's possible. You're creating ripples of change that extend far beyond you. Think about it. How many times have you been inspired by someone who stood up for themselves? How often have you admired someone who refused to be pushed around? By claiming your worth, you're giving others permission to do the same. Now, I'm not saying this journey is easy. It takes courage to change deeply ingrained patterns. It takes strength to stand up to those who are used to pushing you down. It takes persistence to keep going when old habits try to pull you back. 
but you have that courage, you have that strength, you have that persistence. It's all within you waiting to be awakened. Here's the beautiful thing. Every time you choose self-respect over self-doubt, every time you speak up instead of staying silent, every time you honor your worth instead of shrinking yourself, you're building momentum. You're creating a new normal for yourself. It's like working out. The first few times it's hard, your muscles ache, your lungs burn. But if you keep at it day after day, it gets easier, you get stronger, and eventually it becomes second nature. The same is true for standing in your power. At first it might feel uncomfortable. You might doubt yourself, but each time you do it, you're strengthening your self-worth muscle. You're creating new neural pathways that support your value. As you do this inner work, you'll start to notice changes in your outer world. People will respond to you differently. Opportunities will open up. Life will start to reflect back to you the worth that you're claiming for yourself. But remember, this isn't about becoming arrogant or thinking you're better than others. It's about recognizing your inherent value as a human being. It's about treating yourself and others with respect. It's about creating a world where everyone's worth is honored. So how do we do this in practical terms? Let's break it down. First, start with awareness. Notice how you talk to yourself. Pay attention to how you let others treat you. Become conscious of the moments when you shrink yourself or stay silent when you should speak up. Next, make a commitment to change. Decide right here and now that you're no longer willing to be treated as less than. Make a promise to yourself that you'll start honoring your worth. Then take small steps. Start with something manageable. Maybe it's speaking up in a meeting when you have an idea. Maybe it's telling a friend that their comment hurt you. Maybe it's simply looking in the mirror and saying, I am worthy every morning. As you take these steps, celebrate your progress. Did you set a boundary? Congratulate yourself. Did you stand up for yourself? Acknowledge your courage. Every small win is building your confidence and reinforcing your worth. And when you falter, because you will, we all do. Be kind to yourself. Don't use it as proof that you're not worthy. Instead, see it as part of the learning process. Dust yourself off, remind yourself of your worth, and try again. Remember, this is a journey. It's not about being perfect. It's about consistently choosing to honor your worth, even when it's hard, especially when it's hard. As you do this work, you might start to notice some resistance, maybe from others who are used to the old you, maybe from your own mind questioning if you really deserve better. This is normal. Change often brings resistance. But here's the thing, that resistance is a sign that you're growing. It's a sign that you're challenging the status quo. It's a sign that you're reclaiming your power. So when you face resistance, don't back down. Instead, see it as confirmation that you're on the right path. Let it fuel your determination to keep going. As you continue on this path, you'll start to notice something amazing. Not only will you stop letting others treat you like you're nothing, but you'll also stop treating yourself that way. You'll start to see your own beauty, your own strength, your own incredible potential. You'll start to realize that you are not just enough, you are more than enough. You are a miracle of existence, a unique expression of life itself. There has never been and will never be another you. Think about that for a moment. In all of time and space, there's only one you. Your combination of experiences, thoughts, feelings, and talents is completely unique. How could that ever be nothing? So from this moment on, make a commitment. A commitment to honor your worth. A commitment to stand in your power. A commitment to stop letting anyone, including yourself, treat you like you're nothing. Because you're not nothing. You're everything. You're a star in human form, made of the same stuff that lights up the night sky. You're a force of nature, capable of incredible things. You're a miracle walking, talking, and breathing. It's time you started acting like it. It's time to speak your truth, even when your voice shakes. It's time to set boundaries, even when it feels uncomfortable. It's time to pursue your dreams, even when others say you can't. It's time to stop dimming your light to make others comfortable. Your light is not too bright. Their eyes just need to adjust. It's time to stop apologizing for taking up space. 
You have every right to be here, to be seen, to be heard. It's time to stop accepting crumbs when you deserve the whole feast. You are worthy of love, respect, success, happiness, all of it. It's time to stop waiting for permission to live your life fully. You don't need anyone's approval to be who you are. It's time to stop letting your past define your future. Your history is not your destiny. You have the power to write a new story starting right now. It's time to stop playing small. The world needs your gifts, your voice, your unique perspective. By hiding, you're not just shortchanging yourself, you're depriving the world of your brilliance. It's time to stop letting fear hold you back. Yes, it's scary to stand up for yourself. Yes, it's frightening to step into your power. But you know what's scarier? Looking back on your life and realizing you never truly lived it. It's time to stop letting others' opinions matter more than your own. You are the expert on your life. You know what's best for you. Trust that inner wisdom. It's time to stop putting everyone else's needs before your own. You can't pour from an empty cup. Taking care of yourself isn't selfish. It's necessary. It's time to stop waiting for the perfect moment to start living. This is your moment, right here, right now. It's time to stop letting self-doubt win. Your doubts are lies. Your worth is the truth. It's time to stop settling for less than you deserve in your relationships, your career, your life. You deserve the best simply because you exist. It's time to stop believing the lie that you're not enough. You are enough, you've always been enough, and you will always be enough. It's time to stop letting your mistakes define you. Your mistakes are lessons, not life sentences. Learn from them and move forward. It's time to stop comparing yourself to others. Your only competition is the person you were yesterday. It's time to stop waiting for someone to rescue you. You are your own hero. You have everything you need within you. It's time to stop letting your inner critic run the show. That voice doesn't have your best interest at heart. Choose to listen to the voice that uplifts and empowers you instead. It's time to stop hiding your true self. The world needs your authenticity, your vulnerability, your realness. It's time to stop playing by rules that don't serve you. You have the power to rewrite the rules of your life. It's time to stop letting your limitations define you. Your limitations are just invitations to get creative and find another way. It's time to stop letting your age, your background, or your circumstances be excuses. It's never too late, you're never too old, and it's never impossible. It's time to stop letting others' success intimidate you. Their success doesn't diminish your potential. There's enough success to go around. It's time to stop letting your failures keep you down. Every failure is a step closer to success if you choose to learn from it. It's time to stop letting your comfort zone be a prison. Growth happens outside of comfort. Be willing to be uncomfortable. It's time to stop letting your past trauma control your present. You are not what happened to you. You are what you choose to become. It's time to stop letting toxic people drain your energy. You have the right to distance yourself from anyone who doesn't respect your worth. It's time to stop letting society's expectations dictate your path. Your life is yours to live. Choose the path that feels right to you. It's time to stop letting your negative self-talk go unchallenged. Question those thoughts. Are they true? Are they helpful? If not, choose different thoughts. It's time to stop letting your dreams stay dreams. Take action, no matter how small, towards what you want. It's time to stop letting your fear of judgment hold you back. What others think of you is none of your business. Focus on what you think of you. It's time to stop letting your need for perfection paralyze you. Done is better than perfect. Progress is better than perfection. It's time to stop letting your past mistakes haunt you. You are not the same person you were yesterday. You're growing, evolving, becoming. It's time to stop letting your self-worth be determined by external factors. Your worth is inherent. It doesn't depend on what you do, what you have, or what others think of you. It's time to stop letting your potential go untapped. You have greatness within you. It's time to let it out. It's time to stop letting your voice be silenced. Your perspective matters. Your experiences matter. Your opinions matter. It's time to stop letting your dreams seem impossible. Everything is impossible until someone does it. Why not you? It's time to stop letting your self-care be an afterthought. You can't serve from an empty vessel.
fill yourself up first. It's time to stop letting your happiness depend on others. You are responsible for your own happiness. It's time to stop letting your growth be stunted by comfort. Embrace discomfort. It's a sign of growth. It's time to stop letting your past define your future. Your history is not your destiny. You have the power to create a new story. It's time to stop letting your light be dimmed. You were born to shine. Don't let anyone or anything dull your brilliance. It's time to stop letting your worth be determined by others. You are inherently valuable simply because you exist. It's time to stop letting your life pass you by while you wait for the right time. The right time is now. This moment is all we ever have. It's time to stop letting your fear of failure hold you back. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's part of success. It's time to stop letting your need for approval dictate your choices. The only approval you need is your own. It's time to stop letting self-doubt win. Your doubts are lies. Your worth is the truth. It's time to stop letting your circumstances define you. You are not your situation. You are your response to your situation. It's time to stop letting your inner critic have the loudest voice. Choose to listen to the voice that uplifts and empowers you. It's time to stop letting past pain dictate your future joy. You've been through enough. You deserve happiness. It's time to stop letting fear of the unknown keep you stuck. The unknown is where all the magic happens. It's time to stop letting your need for control limit your experiences. Sometimes the best things in life are unplanned. It's time to stop letting insecurities hold you back. Your imperfections make you unique. Embrace them. It's time to stop letting fear of judgment silence you. Your voice matters. Use it. It's time to stop letting your comfort zone be your prison. Growth happens outside of comfort. It's time to stop letting past mistakes define you. They are lessons, not life sentences. It's time to stop letting dreams stay dreams. Take action, no matter how small. It's time to stop letting fear dictate your choices. Feel the fear and do it anyway. It's time to stop letting limitations define you. They are invitations to get creative. It's time to stop letting negative self-talk go unchallenged. Question those thoughts. It's time to stop letting potential go untapped. You have greatness within you. It's time to let it out. It's time to stop letting others treat you like you're nothing because you're not nothing. You're everything. You are a miracle of existence. You are a force of nature. You are a star in human form, and it's time you started acting like it. From this moment on, choose to honor your worth. Choose to stand in your power. Choose to shine your light unapologetically and brilliantly. Because when you do, you give others permission to do the same. You create a ripple effect of empowerment and self-worth that can change the world. So stand tall, speak your truth, set your boundaries, pursue your dreams, love yourself fiercely. Never let anyone treat you like you're nothing again because you are everything. You always have been. It's time the world knew it. Remember, this journey of self-worth isn't a destination. It's a daily practice. Every day you have the opportunity to choose self-respect over self-doubt. Every interaction is a chance to stand in your power and honor your worth. Every moment is an opportunity to remember your true value. This isn't about becoming someone new. It's about uncovering who you've always been beneath the layers of doubt, fear, and negative conditioning. It's about returning to your true self, the self that knows its worth, that stands tall in its power, that refuses to be treated as anything less than the miracle it is. As you continue on this journey, you'll face challenges. There will be days when it feels easier to slip back into old patterns, days when the voice of self-doubt seems louder than ever, and days when others push against your newfound strength. But here's what I want you to remember in those moments. You've already taken the hardest step. You've made the decision to reclaim your worth. You've chosen to stop letting others treat you like you're nothing. That choice, that commitment to yourself is more powerful than any obstacle you'll face. When those challenging days come, and they will, I want you to pause, take a deep breath, and remind yourself of your inherent worth. Remind yourself of all the times you've overcome challenges in the past. Remind yourself of the strength that lives within you. Then, take one small step forward. It doesn't have to be big. Maybe it's simply looking in the mirror and saying, I am worthy. 
Maybe it's politely but firmly saying no to something that doesn't serve you. Maybe it's doing one small thing to take care of yourself. These small steps might not feel significant in the moment, but they add up. They build momentum. They reinforce your worth. They show the universe, and more importantly, they show yourself that you are committed to honoring your value. Remember, you're not just doing this for yourself. You're doing it for everyone who's ever felt small, insignificant, or unworthy. You're showing them what's possible. You're lighting the way. Imagine a world where everyone recognized their own worth, where no one allowed themselves to be treated as less than, where everyone stood in their power and shone their light brightly. That's the world you're helping to create simply by honoring your own worth. So keep going. Keep choosing yourself. Keep standing tall in your power. Keep refusing to be treated as anything less than the miracle you are. On the days when it feels hard, when you're tempted to shrink yourself or accept less than you deserve, I want you to remember this. You are not nothing. You are everything. You are a unique expression of life itself, a one in a billion miracle. There has never been and will never be another you. Your thoughts, your feelings, your experiences, your perspective, they all matter, they all have value, they all contribute to the beautiful tapestry of human existence. Your dreams, your goals, your aspirations, they're not too big. If anything, they're not big enough. You are capable of more than you can imagine. Your voice deserves to be heard. Your opinions matter. Your ideas are valuable. Don't let anyone silence you or make you feel small. Your time is precious. Your energy is valuable. Don't waste them on people or situations that don't honor your worth. Your boundaries are important. They're not selfish, they're necessary. They protect your energy, your peace, your sense of self. Don't let anyone make you feel guilty for having them. Your needs matter, your wants matter, your feelings matter. Don't push them aside to please others. Honor them. Your body is a miracle. It carries you through life and allows you to experience the world. Treat it with respect and care. Your mind is powerful. It can be your greatest ally or your worst enemy. Choose thoughts that uplift and empower you. Your heart is precious. It's the seat of your emotions, your compassion, your love. Don't let anyone trample on it. Your spirit is indomitable. No matter what life throws at you, you have the strength to overcome it. Your past does not define you. It shaped you, yes, but it doesn't determine your future. You have the power to write a new story at any moment. Your present is a gift. It's the only moment you truly have. Make the most of it. Your future is full of potential. It's not set in stone. You have the power to shape it with your choices and actions. Your failures are not endpoints, they're stepping stones. Learn from them and keep moving forward. Your successes are not flukes, they're proof of your capabilities. Celebrate them and use them as fuel to reach even higher. Your fears are not facts. They're stories your mind tells you to keep you safe. But sometimes the greatest growth happens when you face those fears. Your doubts are not truths. They're echoes of past hurts or societal conditioning. You have the power to silence them with self-belief. Your worth is not determined by your productivity, your achievements, your possessions, or your relationships. It's inherent. It exists simply because you exist. Your light is not too bright. Don't dim it for anyone. The world needs your full radiance. Your uniqueness is not a flaw, it's your superpower. Embrace it. Your sensitivity is not a weakness, it's a strength. It allows you to connect deeply with others and with the world around you. Your emotions are not something to be ashamed of, they're part of the human experience. Honor them, learn from them, but don't let them control you. Your intuition is not something to ignore. It's your inner wisdom speaking to you. Learn to listen to it and trust it. Your mistakes do not define you. They are opportunities for growth and learning. Embrace them as part of your journey. Your challenges are not punishments. They are opportunities for growth, for developing resilience, for becoming stronger. Your scars, both physical and emotional, are not something to hide. They're proof of your strength, your ability to heal, your resilience. Your story is not over. As long as you're breathing, you have the power to write new chapters, to change the narrative, to create a life that honors your worth. So from this moment on, I want you to make a promise to yourself. Promise that you will no longer allow anyone, including yourself, to treat you like you're nothing. Promise that you will stand tall in your power, that you will honor your worth, that you will shine your light brightly and unapologetically. 
Promise that you will speak your truth even when your voice shakes. Promise that you will set boundaries even when it feels uncomfortable. Promise that you will pursue your dreams even when others say you can't. Promise that you will love yourself fiercely, that you will treat yourself with kindness and respect. Promise that you will celebrate your uniqueness, your quirks, your imperfections, because they make you who you are. Promise that you will no longer shrink yourself to make others comfortable. Promise that you will no longer apologize for taking up space, for having needs, for being who you are. Promise that you will no longer settle for less than you deserve in any area of your life. In your relationships, your career, your self-care, your dreams. Promise that you will no longer let fear hold you back from living fully, from reaching for what you want, from becoming who you're meant to be. Promise that you will no longer let your past define your future, that you will no longer let your mistakes hold you back, that you will no longer let doubt win over your dreams. Promise that you will stand up for yourself, that you will speak up when something isn't right, that you will advocate for your needs and wants. Promise that you will take care of yourself, body, mind, and spirit. Promise that you will prioritize your well-being, your growth, your happiness. Promise that you will surround yourself with people who see your worth, who celebrate your light, who encourage your growth, and promise that you will distance yourself from those who try to dim your light or make you feel small. Promise that you will keep growing, learning, evolving, that you will never stop becoming a better version of yourself. And most importantly, promise that you will always, always remember your worth, that you will never again forget that you are a miracle, a force of nature, a unique and invaluable expression of life itself. Because when you make these promises to yourself and keep them, you change. And when you change, the world around you changes. You create a ripple effect of empowerment, of self-worth, of respect that extends far beyond you. So stand tall, speak your truth, set your boundaries, pursue your dreams, love yourself fiercely, and never, ever let anyone treat you like you're nothing again. Because you are not nothing. You are everything. You always have been and it's time the world knew it. Remember, this journey of self-worth is ongoing. It's a daily practice, a moment-by-moment -moment choice. But with each choice to honor your worth, you grow stronger. With each step you take in honoring yourself, you create a new normal, one where you are valued, respected, and treated as the miracle you are. So go forth, shine your light, live your truth, honor your worth. The world is waiting for the real you, the you that knows its value, that stands in its power, that refuses to be treated as anything less than the miracle it is. You've got this and you are worth it. Always remember that.